Uh, good morning, YouTube. It is 5.36 in the morning. Um, today's topic is the Kinei Drive. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors radiation are mathematic a solution asteroid what am i doing up so um i don't think there's been a hotter topic <laughs> in science and tech right now um so much drama coming from this topic so what is the kinetic drive the kinetic drive is um a uh a close cousin to the M drive, which we've talked about. Uh, an M drive, also known as a, possibly as a quantum vacuum plasma thruster, or some people are calling it a, um, an RF resonant cavity drive or something like that. Anyway, uh, just to recap, what, what is this thing? It's a box, it's a metal box. One end is bigger than the other. There's a microwave emitter inside. You plug it into electricity, turn it on, and emits some kind of thrust. Uh, no exhaust, just thrust. Again, because there's no exhaust, all the physicists are like, no, this can't be happening. Um, the inventors of these drives, uh, first Shire, who created the M drive in 1999, and now there's this, uh, the, the Kine drive, the inventor's name is Guido Feta. Um, you know, they, they've produced these things, several scientific groups have tested these things, uh, stating that there is positive thrust, uh, again, no exhaust. And so, um, and in, uh, in last week's episode, I talked about how NASA, uh, rumor is NASA was ready to, um, publish their findings. Uh, submitted their paper to AIAA, got peer-reviewed and all that business. Uh, haven't seen that yet, not sure if, uh, when that'll happen. So, again, uh, the scientists are saying, no, this is an impossibility. They keep attacking the setup of the tests or, uh, you know, talking about, oh, your findings are attributed to, um, air currents or, um, uh, you know, the vibration of the, of the microwave emitter or, um, whatever the, you know, attacking the setup of the test, not necessarily that the physics is working. And so finally, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Feta, Guido Feta is like, f okay, forget it. You know, um, we understand these are, you know, these are tall claims and you don't believe it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put this Kine drive, my Kine drive, onto a satellite and shoot it up into space. Uh, you know, and then I'm going to prove to all of you that the Kine drive, this, this actually works. <laughs> so, um, Feta created, I guess he created a, a corporation or some kind of entity uh, with a couple of partners. And their goal is to, to put their Kine drive um, onto a satellite and launch it into space. Uh, there's no launch uh, window declared yet. Uh, people are thinking maybe maybe next year, maybe 2018. Uh, he doesn't have a rocket, so he's got to develop that. Uh, he's going to put it onto onto a small cube satellite. Um, and you know his his position is well if I launch this on a satellite and the satellite stays up in space for more than six months, more than a year, uh, then that should prove that, you know, the, because with a satellite, normally all satellites have a decaying orbit. And if he can keep that satellite in orbit, uh, with this drive without propellant, then that, that should prove that, you know, some good's going on there, that it actually works. <laughs> uh, thrust without exhaust. So that's the latest. Um, I think it's kind of funny, you know, to, because it's true, you know, scientists are gonna look, you know, they, they look at each other's results all the time. And, and if they don't like it, they'll, they'll find reasons why they don't like it. And, 
you know, and that's good. That's that's our scientific process. That's that's the way that we vet, you know, all of our ideas and whatnot, and the experimentation that goes on around the planet. It's um, it, it's a good check and balance to make sure that everyone's doing good science. Uh, I think it's funny that that uh, Feta got fed up with it. Huh? Um, and just said, okay, we're just going to put one in the space. So uh, he does have competition. The Chinese group um, is trying to put one into orbit. Uh, they probably have a better chance because they have access to the rockets or whatever. Uh, Schreier wants to put his M drive up in the space too. So I don't know exactly the difference between um, the Kine drive and the M drive. There's, there's a little bit of design difference, but the same concept is there. Um, and just a point of clarity, um, last time I talked about how there's, there's two prevailing, um, theories, again, we don't know what's going on in this box. Uh, one is, you know, particles coming into existence, the microwave is pushing on the particles, creating thrust and the particles disappearing. Um, that's the quantum vacuum plasma thruster theory. Uh, the, the other theory I talked about is how, um, the microwaves jumping back and forth experience radiation UNRWA pressure and that UNRWA pressure is uh, quantized into a specific uh, wavelength and because you have more space over here um, and less space over here that difference in space uh, creates an imbalance in the system and thrust balances the system um, the I guess that's the the UNRWA radiation is a is a more recent uh, theory. There is one theory that that popped up, and Scheuer's theory actually is that uh, again it has to do with radiation pressure, but it's radiation pressure against pushing on the different uh, ends, the different sizes. Uh, and his theory is that because the microwaves are bouncing back and forth every time they hit a surface they uh, transfer momentum to that surface. So uh, microwave waves hitting the surface transfer momentum. And because this side is bigger, you have... Okay, I get this confused too. Because one side is bigger than the other, you have an imbalance in uh, momentum transfer to each side, and therefore you have a, a thrust vector in, in one direction. So, so there you go, uh, three different theories. Um, but yes, the Kine drive going to be going into space. Not sure when. That'll be exciting to see. So, another step in in this epic drama. Uh, enough. I gotta go to work. <laughs> you gotta go do whatever it is you do. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Yeah.